The report is not an easy read and it will shock many Tasmanians. I know I was shocked when I read it. Almost a year in the making, Ray Murrahy's independent review finally released and for racing whistleblowers, vindication. The report makes findings that individuals have engaged in team driving, race fixing and animal abuse. It was sparked by an ABC investigation into Yole Racing, which alleged that the harness stable manipulated races and kept horses in substandard conditions. Successive racing ministers have said there is nothing to see when it comes to the integrity and the animal welfare actions of the industry, and this review confirms otherwise. The report determined that two races involving Yole runners in 2022 were fixed, with a further 15 to undergo deeper investigation. Animal welfare breaches, including a horse that was left tongue-tied for four days before being made to race, and the whipping of horses in wash bays, Race day injections in breach of the rules of racing were found, as well as non-compliance in regard to medications. But those implicated in the review will still be allowed to race, at least for now, while an independent panel of stewards considers the report and determines any potential penalties or sanctions. We don't need another independent review. We need to have Ben Yolt stood down from racing today. He should not be fielding runners on the weekend. In a statement, Taz Racing said it was confirming its legal powers, separate to the Office of Racing Integrity, to address the allegations against those named. 